Here's another somewhat vintage uh, treasure, EP Girl EP by Tad Wakamatsu, a Japanese photographer. And this, um, I, I don't know whether I have to point this out, this is not safe for work. Well, it's actually safe for my work, but it might not be safe for your work. And if it's not safe for your work, then you might want to um, answer the question why you're looking at this at work. Anyway, um, as you can see, this is what happens when you have old books. They um, might fall apart or the binding might give away, and that's just part of of the photo book. So this is signed, the photographer. You know, books are physical objects and they they just don't last forever. They're made to be looked at and then the glue gets um, you know, stiff with time and the pages might tear or the binding cracks or the you know, the spine cracks. All that stuff happens with, with old books. Anyway, as you can see um, well, you know, this is what this looks like. It's a, a beautiful book from, uh, I don't know, I think it's from the 60s. This is a gift from uh, from a student of mine who lives, uh, who is actually Japanese, who lives in Japan, who found this in a, in a second hand store in, in Tokyo, I think, for the equivalent of four dollars. A lot of old Japanese photo books can be had fairly cheaply in Japan and then you end up paying exorbitant prices for them outside of uh, Japan, which is too bad. So you see there's a bit of a story here, if you want to call it a story, you know, these bikers going to some concert. And then there's a girl, um, the main character, if you will, who's somewhat prominent in these pictures. It's just a gorgeous picture, very dated but gorgeous. Um, It's just the whole aesthetic speaks of its time. This is truly one of those um, treasures that um, you know could have made it into the usual uh, photo books about uh, books about photo books, but somehow it didn't. And then it keeps evolving. <coughs> you see how the the story is suddenly changed into it's not much of a story any longer, and then you get this, which is possibly the best part of the book. Not because of the contents, but because of the way it's presented. So you see these semi-translucent pages. You see how that shines through here, and you get this superimposition of of these photographs, where the superimposition really brings this gesture um, or these gestures um, to life. I don't know whether you can see it so well in the digital project and in, in, on your computer screen. But it's just a magnificent idea how to work with these images. You know, shining through this movement. It's just a really gorgeous idea how to work with these pictures. And this is actually the main reason why I wanted to show you this book the way it works with these translucent pages. It's truly wonderful. But that's not the end. It keeps going. And then it evolves into these uh, more classical nudes. And then here you get the nude in the uh, in the landscape, or in the subway, or out in the city. This must be Sunday morning in New York City, very early in the morning, and then we're back <coughs> to photographs of this young woman in New York and the environment. I'm going through this book rather quickly, of course, uh, in the interest of showing you everything. It is one of those books that's really, really well made. Very interesting layout, very interesting way of telling a story. Of course, you know, it's somewhat dated, um, and you can, of course, question the usual male view of the female body. And I think that's the book. So then at the end here you have... Oh no, it's not the book. I don't know what this means. I can't read. 
Japanese, where there's a chapter ending. This always has me baffled when I get here. It's the end part of this book is rather less interesting, even though it's kind of the same idea. Now, if you speak Japanese, you can, um, somebody told me who lives in Japan, you can get a lot of photo books uh, online fairly easily, especially older books. Um, the Japanese equivalent of eBay is uh, Yahoo, Yahoo Auctions. I forgot the difference. There's some reason why Yahoo Auctions are more popular. I think it has something to do with ending the auction time or something like that. Uh, needless to say, Yahoo Japan is all in Japanese, but you can find a lot of photo books at very affordable prices if you maybe find somebody who can help you with the Japanese text. So, no, I actually showed you the whole book. It's, it's at the very end. And I don't even know if this is the... Little something that was in the book. So, this is a, a real classic, a little bit overlooked but really wonderful, I think. EP Girl EP by Tad Wakamatsu.